Ultramarine Linux 41, codenamed Siberia, launches on April 15, 2025. Powered by the Linux kernel 6.13 and built on top of Fedora 41, delivering a polished desktop experience straight out of the box. This release expands beyond traditional desktops by adding Windows subsystem for Linux, which is WSL support. Once vetted in the Microsoft Store, users can install Ultramarine on Windows hosts with manual install instructions available in the interim. A fresh command line utility, which is UM, or you can call it like UM, provides advanced users with a system overview, which is UM status, and encrypted status uploads for streamlined support. Now, let's talk about the desktop editions. Flagship, which is Pudgy. PDF Fever, switched from Atril to Evans. Music Player, swapped Rhythm Box for Lollipop. Branding, the application menu icon now features the Ultramarine logo by default. Now let's talk about the GNOME edition. Upgraded to GNOME 47, bringing under the hood performance optimizations and a new accent color options. Default apps. Video player changed from Clapper to Showtime. Document Viewer shifted from events to papers. Added decibels as the music player. Now let's talk about the KDE Plasma. Standardized as Ultramarine Linux Plasma Edition. Now shipping with the KDE Plasma 6.3 and its suite of KDE 6 apps. Now finally, the XFCE Edition. Ships with XFCE 4.18 by default with usability refinements such as a graphical password change utility. Now let's talk about the hardware and platform support. Microsoft Surface. Full support for all x86 Surface models, including detachable keyboard, features on Surface Book and integrated camera support. Chromebooks Experimental ultramarine images are now available, enabling daily driver readiness for enthusiasts. Broader support will mature in upcoming releases. Raspberry Pi Continued improvements tackle GPU driver limitations. Ultramarine 41 upgrades are available via Fedora 40 installs, with a developer preview for fresh Pi images forthcoming. Now, ready-made installer and a Titan. Ultramarine 41 debuts ready-made. The project's in-house installer, replacing Fedora's Anaconda for a more streamlined setup experience. Bundled with its Titan, an out-of-the-box wizard that guides users through account creation with future plans for IME configuration and curated app selection. Now let's talk about the Flatpak migration. To boost applications isolation and upgrade flexibility, most desktop apps across all editions have migrated to Flatpak sandboxing. Flagship, Calculator, Events, Lollipop. GNOME, Extensions, Gary, Connections, Text Editor, Calendar, Maps, Weather, Clocks, Contacts, Camera, Showtime, and Papers. Plasma Edition, Dragon Player, Haruna, Komoso, K Calculator, K Color Paint, K Write, Ocular, Elisa, XFCE, Calculator, Events, Gary, Eye of Gnome, which is replacing Restrito for non flatpak performance reasons. Now, Documentation and under the hood. Ultramarine's documentation receives a major overhaul, now featuring comprehensive hardware guides, including WSL, Surface, and Chromebook instructions, as well as a reorganized Ultramarine Anywhere section that centralizes cross platform resources. Under the hood updates also include multiple Fedora repository package pumps and refined Anaconda to ready made transition nodes. Now, getting started. All Ultramarine 41 editions, which is Flagship or Budgie, GNOME, KDE Plasma, and XFCE, are available for both x86-64 and R64 architectures. Download your preferred ISOs from the official Ultramarine Linux website and follow the in-ISO Titan wizard or consult the updated wiki for detailed installation and upgrade instructions. Thanks for watching. Peace out.